her face. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 horror film I Am Fear. The film is directed and co-written by Kevin Shulman and it stars Christina Klebb, Farhan, Farhan Tahir, um, Ali Sam and Eon Macken. Right, the film focuses on like a terrorist cell um, and they essentially kidnap um, Sarah Brown who's like a celebrity journalist I suppose um, and while she sits in a cell awaiting uh, her beheading on live TV sort of thing these terrorists, this terrorist cell um, start experiencing strange things they start having frightening visions uh, and they're begin to suspect uh, that there's something maybe more sinister going on here. Right, what are my thoughts on I Am Fear? I don't know why, but th this is a film that I had on my watch list for a while. Um, I, I, maybe I saw a trailer for it a while ago, maybe it was someone that's recommended it to me, I just can't remember if I'm particularly honest. Um, but I thought, well, I'll give this one a go. I had a bit of spare time um, a, a few days ago now to check it out. And I watched, I've watched, i watched this one now. Uh, and I have to say, it was just not very good, this film. Um, very, very disappointing. Um, I didn't really watch any reviews or anything going into this. I was hoping it was going to be um, a bit of a, you know, a, a fright fest. Because I like the idea of this film. I like the concept of it. You know, this... this terror cell who've got these hostages and almost like the terrorists are kind of you know eat each other from the inside out sort of thing and this level of distrust as their sanity cripples and you know i thought it sounded like you know almost like the thing you know what i mean this level of distrust that these characters have with each other where they kind of turn on each other uh, it can make for a really engaging and interesting um, character piece first and then whatever kind of genre film you're making whether it be a thriller a horror action whatever it, it can work in any genre really that that theme and they didn't do it effectively at all there was a couple of moments where it hinted that it was going to kind of go down that route and I was getting a little bit you know I was like okay it's picking up now but this film unfortunately relies so heavily on like flashback scenes that just for me confuse the film even more i mean i'm never generally a fan of flashback scenes anyway i think it's a cheap trick usually to kind of fill gaps in a film or how to explain your film away because you know you, you can't do it in your script or you, you know the narrative is being is, is poor so I, i've never been a big fan of flashbacks if it, they can be used effectively but this film absolutely doesn't use them effectively it overuses them and it absolutely, they cripple the film as that, many of them. And you could argue the vast majority of the flashback scenes are just not needed. Uh, they just feel like complete and utter filler. Um, the film just uh, is overly predictable. You know, what I thought was happening was happening sort of thing. It just doesn't play around with the fear element enough. Um, there are some interesting visuals going on i mean some of the scenes are, are reasonably graphic and stuff um and there are like i said there's a couple of scenes that you watch it and you kind of like oh this is going to pick up now um and then it doesn't it just goes back into its old formula of flashbacks and dull interrogation scenes or you know it, it's for me films like this absolutely need strong characters strong well-written characters for us to care about them and, and this film is trying to um project i mean you've got this you've got a terrorist cell yeah i mean number one it's just so straight away you're not on their side because they ain't good guys so you've got to really sell it to make us even give a damn about any of them or the situation that they're in um, but in actual fact, you're just kind of applauding when things start going wrong for them. And then you've got this character, this journalist, Sarah Brown, um, who they just do not do enough with this character at all. And it, it does kind of make sense a little bit by the end. 
Um, but it, for me, it felt so predictable. Um, and it just didn't, it didn't pay off enough for me in regards to her character or any of the other characters in this film. Um, it was, it, it, it was unfortunately a really dull watch and zero scares, zero scares. Um, I just, I, I don't recall any scene that kind of even was, had the potential for being scary. Yes, okay, there's some interesting visuals going on uh, when there, when these um, terrorists are kind of hallucinating or are they hallucinating sort of thing. There's some pretty interesting stuff going on there. Um, but not enough to hold your attention and not enough to keep you wanting to watch through this film but because it, it becomes a real chore um, to get through this film. It's, it, it's, it, it's messily made, it's, it's edited together fairly, really quite poorly um, and it's, it's one of those films that has like a number of scenes that have kind of been sewn together in between with like flashback scenes and all that kind of stuff and by the end of it you just you, you're confused you don't care you don't care about any of the characters you're definitely not being kept watching the film because it's scary or impactful or anything like that um so it's not a film i can really recommend um there were some decent ideas in here there was potential for a, a good film i think if it had gone down the route i was talking about earlier working on the distrust route and all that kind of stuff and you know, making it a unique opportunity, you know, rather than giving a stereotypical terrorist sort of thing, they could have done something a little bit more interesting with it. Um, and we just don't get that at all. It's fairly bog standard, predictable horror film overall. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I will, of course, be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.